At the entry level, uh, you're going to see basic equipment that's going to be workhorse quality. It's going to be reliable. It's going to be technologically current, uh, but it's going to have lower slice counts. It's going to be something that uh, maybe a startup would want to use, a veterinarian would want to use, maybe a, uh, a clinic or an imaging center that's, that doesn't have a lot of patient throughput at this point, but is seeking to build uh, their business, seeking to build their services to their community. That would be a good first step. And this entry level, uh, long-term costs associated with entry level systems are pretty much gonna be the same long-term costs as you have with uh, the, the intermediate and the advanced level. They might be slightly less, but generally speaking, you're talking five to 10% annual savings on a, on a basic entry level system over an advanced level system. So the intermediate tier tends to be the sweet spot for most people. Um, it's, a, it's proven technology. It's been working already for at least 10 years um, and people are satisfied with it. The service and the reliability is uh, second to none. They're going to be serviced by the OEM as well as third party uh, service companies. The technology is going to be almost as good as you can get brand new. And generally, since reimbursements don't change when you move up to the advanced, the intermediate just represents a great value for the money. As a balance between cost and, and technology and usability and functionality and patient care, it, it just represents exactly where you want to be. There's a couple reasons you're going to be in that advanced class. Number one is you need cutting level, cutting edge technology. You need the latest greatest. Uh, you might be doing research uh, you might be having written research grants and need to do studies that are uh, preclinical. You might have uh, competition where you need to have the latest greatest because the hospital across town has the latest greatest. You might have a local insurance provider that is, that is large and serves some large industry near you that says we're only going to scan on, on really, really nice systems that are 64, 128 or more. The other reason why you might choose the advanced uh, tier is that you're the type of clinic or imaging center or hospital that you want to buy something that'll last 20 years. Um, you don't plan on moving from there. Your revenue cycle, your budgeting cycle is such that if you get a grant to buy something, if you get the budget approved, uh, they're not going to come back to you for, for 10, 20 years. Challenges in this area is that uh, service pricing tends to be slightly higher than the rest because there aren't a lot of part systems available for us to take parts off of. Um, service costs tend to be a little bit higher because just like automobiles, you need more computer diagnostics, you need more training to work on them, and the number of engineers that are in the third party market are slightly less at this higher end. So those are reasons why, um, why you'd want to be in this segment and reasons why you might not want to be.